I said that I would be doing 30 videos about books in 30 days. So here is the last video, the best for last. I'm really in inspired by this topic. I've already created a video about spiral dynamics, which you should see first before watching this video, because this video is going to be all about stage yellow. And what stage yellow means to me is freedom. Because stage yellow thinkers, stage yellow people uh, are non-dogmatic. There are no ideas that are sacred for them. And also enjoys paradox. What stage yellow really values is just getting stuff done. Where stage green is focused on the humanitarian aspect and just listening to everyone's feelings. And stage orange is just trying to have as much status as possible. Yellow just wants to get on with it. It doesn't really care about wearing fancy suits or eating granola as breakfast, but everything is allowed. Stage Yellow sees that sometimes it's necessary to use plastic, sometimes it's necessary to wear a suit, sometimes it's necessary to be authoritarian and sometimes it's necessary to be a democracy. It just knows that certain things are necessary at certain points at the spiral. Stage yellow is measuring himself not to others like stage orange but it is measuring himself against himself. He's listening to the beats of his own drum. And what I think is really cool is that stage yellow because it's not playing any status games he knows that if he has to make a decision that he is actually emotionally too involved in, he will just say, okay guys, just make the decision without me because I know I won't be able to make a good decision. He just recognizes his own emotions and also knows that life is going up and down and knows that when being happy is appropriate, he will be happy. But when being sad is appropriate, he will be sad. So how stage yellow learns is it can learn from anything and from any source. It's open to see everything as its teacher. So two things about how stage yellow is learning. First of all, when it's at the job, it is peripherally learning way more than only the thing at hand. So it kind of has this virtual reality look on life where things are multidimensional and it knows how to apply one thing to another and the second thing is that it also knows which type of thinking to activate depending on the task at hand. So this means that when Yellow notices that patience and an authoritarian climate and self-denial is necessary it will get into this blue type of thinking and when it notices that it learns faster by comparing himself to others then he will just compare himself to others. And when it notices that we need a lot of team spirit and collaboration, it will go into this green type of thinking. And this is what I think it means to be free in your mind because you do not hold any dogma. You see that everyone has their own way of learning and everyone is necessary to create the whole and you can just cherry pick what is most efficient for that specific situation, it understands and appreciates how different everyone is. And it, it recognizes that it is each to his own, different hypes for different types, and it takes all kinds. So what this means is that it takes all kinds. It knows that wherever you are on your level of development, it is important to be like that in that situation. And it also recognizes that people have to go in a natural pace through their development. It recognizes that human development is kind of like a diver. He shouldn't go up too fast because that will make his blood boil. But also he shouldn't go up too slow because then it will run out of air. And it's the same with development. You cannot skip any stage. Everything is necessary for you to grow and develop. So a few more characteristics about stage yellow. It doesn't demand status unless it is demanded by the life situation. It values minimal consumption 
and makes a deliberate effort to declutter and avoid waste. Stage Yellow enjoys the human appetite but is no compulsive slave to it. So it recognizes its natural tendencies but it still values minimal consumption. Also it can express its emotions fully, it can be hostile or it can be angry but these emotions are intellectual and not emotionally driven and the way that stage green looks at stage yellow is that it thinks that it is over intellectualizing its emotions. It sees that it's natural for life to have ups and downs and it notices that chaos and structure are both appropriate at times just like being happy or being sad is appropriate at a certain moment. It will also try to replace what is artificial by anything that's spontaneous. And what they mean by spontaneous is that whatever is natural, whatever makes sense at that context is what will be most valued. Stage Yellow has different interests, whether the interest is trendy or not. And one of the things that stood out to me is also that it will be conformist or non-conformist. It doesn't really care. It just does what is most practical and utilitarian at that moment and in that context. It is attracted to crises and it knows that the biggest breakthroughs in our development only happens when big problems arise. And it creates solutions to these problems that are complex in design, but very simple in its execution. All right, that sums up stage yellow. I think for me, this is just a nice video to look back at and kind of have a, a direction to go towards. And maybe it was also helpful for you if you are interested in spiral dynamics. Uh, so I hope this was helpful and I will see you in the next video.